In today's story, I'll be telling you about a person helping fish in and around the largest coral reef in the Northern Hemisphere. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project where I'm painting 193 portraits from 193 countries with each person involved in a positive environmental action in that country. And today it's the turn of country number 18, Belize. The subject for my portrait for Belize is Nicanor Requena. Nick has more than 20 years working on marine conservation and fisheries management projects in Belize and the Mesoamerican Reef region. Belize is a Caribbean country located on the northeastern coast of Central America. Belize borders countries beginning with M and G. The Mesoamerican Reef runs along the length of the coast of Belize and is the second largest coral reef after the Great Barrier Reef of Australia and is the largest in the Northern Hemisphere. The major threats to Belize's marine ecosystems include coral degradation, loss of mangroves, overfishing, unsustainable coastal development, solid waste such as plastic, sewage, agriculture residues, and climate change, including hurricanes. Nick is currently the country project manager for Environmental Defence Fund's Sustainable Fisheries Initiative. He is an advocate for the active participation of local communities in the decision-making process. He says, local knowledge and experience is fundamental for climate resilient fisheries and healthy marine ecosystems. Nick has been integral to the national implementation of managed access in Belize. This is a rights-based fisheries management approach. It was piloted at two marine reserves for three years and after its success, government working with local partners and fishers decided to expand it to all the territorial waters of Belize, zoning all its territorial waters into nine fishing areas and allowing fishers to choose two fishing areas. Instead of fishers being allowed to fish across all the territorial waters, which was pushing overfishing of some species, there are now fishing in two areas which they choose and which they now have a vested interest to take care of. Nick has been directly involved in the establishment of several marine reserves in Belize and the identification, monitoring and protection of 13 of Belize's most important reef fish spawning aggregation sites. Some fish species aggregate to spawn and do so at certain times and places. Work has been done to understand when and where these fish need to be left alone as they are particularly vulnerable to overfishing. Nick was recognised by the Nature Conservancy in 2009 for the many years working on reef fish spawning, aggregation management and protection of the Mesoamerican reef region. He has done extensive work with the Marine Protected Area Network in Belize and contributed to building local capacity for coastal communities. Nick is actively involved in national expansion of replenishment zones, the no-take areas, and contributed to the revision of Belize's Fisheries Resources Act. Nick is also a farmer. In 2006, he was recognised as the Senior Farmer of the Year in Belize. He practices climate smart agriculture and does apiculture. Along with his wife and children, he has established Tunicha Reserve and Ecological Centre, a nature-based learning centre near Punta Gorda town in southern Belize.
If you'd like to know more about some of the organisations Nick works with, I've put links in the description below. Final words from Nick are, Environmental protection starts with me. I owe it to nature, and the best time to do something positive is today. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting someone who has used multiple tactics to raise environmental awareness in Benin. <laughs>